Uh, the bloody bottom bolts seized in the uh, the eye beam. So. Just got the truck set up here. First ever four door Bronco. See, it's going to work better. These 30 inch tyres. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Righto, so we just pulled up here at uh, Jack's Tyres at Heatherbray and we're going to get some new springs fitted to the old F truck today. So I've got the springs in the back. Um, we're going to go with like a 40 mil lift. Um, apparently that's what these springs are. Um, I've already had the rims and tyres fitted so I'm going to show you them now for the first time. So I ended up going with the, uh, the gold, like I said before. They're a bit dirty. Um, had them fitted for about a week now. I uh, just wanted to let them just have a few drives in the truck first. I've actually been driving it every day because the other F truck's not, not at home at the moment. So, And I also went with the Falcon um, Wild Peak tyres because uh, BF had nothing in stock. So I thought a good opportunity to also try a new set of tyres. I've got the springs just here in the back. So these are King Springs, these are made in Australia. So, just there. So we'll go ahead and get these bad boys mounted up here today at Jacks. Uh, it was on the inside guard. I trimmed the guard out, but I just want to get it, put a little bit of a lift in the front end. So, just hoping there's enough travel in those shocks. The brakes still looking pretty good, considering how old they are. I may upgrade them here soon as well. But I'm just hoping that we've got enough length in those shocks. May need, may need new shocks, I'm not sure yet. But it's only a 40mm lift, so it's not that much. So the bloody bottom bolts seized in the uh, the eye beam, so I have to try and take this nut all the way out off the top of it, and we'll see how the other one goes. I did spray him about a week ago, but I think she's stuck. But the springs are definitely tired, so time for some new ones. First one out. Chuck the new one in. Alright, 
So I've been driving the truck for probably about a week now and I don't think it made much difference putting those 40 mil springs in. I think it may have already had 40 mil springs fitted to the front of it. We gained maybe 20 mil if we're lucky. I think that it may have already had some 40 mil lifted springs in it from way back and they've, uh, they're just really old. Let's have a look. really liking these new Falcon tires too. They're really nice, really nice tire. Um, the wheels, I love the wheels. I always wanted a gold set of methods ever since I've seen the first set a few years ago um, on a trophy truck. So finally got them in the, uh, the eight stud. So I'm really impressed with these tires. I actually might consider getting these tires for the other F250, the big truck, the black truck, once the, um, the BFs wear down, so. Yeah, pretty impressed with the old Falcon Wild Peaks. So, and they're really quiet on the road. They weren't as loud as what I thought they'd be. So, I did gain... I think I did gain a little bit of height. But, honestly, it's not much. As you can see by that. Yeah, I reckon... Lucky to be 20 mil. Maybe even 10. But it definitely rides a lot better than what it did before, so I'm happy about that. The leaf springs in the back, they're still pretty good. There's nothing really wrong with them. They kind of float really nice. So I am going to rip this 351 out. Um, I've been getting some quotes this week uh, for an engine swap, so basically Either I pull this out or they pull it out and drop a new 5 litre Coyote in it. Um, I'm either going to go with a brand new one from Ford Performance Australia or go with a wrecked GT Mustang, which is probably the way I'm going to go because it's way cheaper than um, buying a motor directly from Ford Performance. So I can pick up a 5 litre engine, uh, transmission, all the wire and harness, um, AC compressor and other bits and pieces that I'm going to need for around 14 grand. So I think that's the road that I'm going to go with this, this truck. Just a nice, reliable engine for it. But I'm pretty happy with how it's all coming together. So I'm going to have to save up to get the motor fitted. It's a fair bit of money. Um, I'll probably do that over the next kind of few months. Start saving for the motor and hopefully start of next year, get the, get the motor fitted. Bought a new rear window, so I bought the American, the American window um, from a guy in Melbourne who imports these trucks from the states and then strips them for parts. So got a new window for the back with the slide and everything in it. Um, on the interior, um, I have just fixed up all the dash and stuff. Got all brand new screws put in the dash. Um, I've got to get a new this new panel here. I paid a thousand dollars for that panel because I couldn't find one anywhere. So that kind of hurt the budget a bit on building this truck, but um, yeah, just mine was all cracked and everything, and this is a, a, a part out of a box. So it was a genuine Ford part, still in the original box. Um, I did get the AC regassed, but it messed up on me and <laughs> blew the, the blew one of the lines the other day. So I was just hoping to get a few more get a few more months out of it before I actually had to replace it, but. It is what it is now, so it's kind of pushing me towards putting a new motor in it. But yeah, so that's that's basically the status on the, the 78. So and my uh, my younger brother just bought a 75 as well. So they are getting super rare these trucks. So if you if you like these trucks and you find one cheap, um, definitely snap it up because they're only going up in value. So. I just think it's cool. I got a brand, well not a brand new one, but I got a 20, 2014 and I've got a 78 F250s and it's just so crazy how much they've changed over the years. So but yeah, I'm gonna go home now and 
got to make some more content for the channel got the new studio going so another video coming up and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one see you